research has shown that there are approximately 20,000 species of butterflies around the world and out of which 1,800 species of butterflies are found within India. After being the important part of the ecosystem, butterflies are being declined and due to this the species are vanishing. This documentary shows the conservation of butterflies and represents how we can make contribution towards it. A Sola Bhatti Wildlife Sanctuary is located in South Delhi district all along Delhi, Faridabad and Gurgaon and the state border. The main attraction of Asola Bhatti Wildlife Sanctuary, CEC Conservation Education Center is established jointly by Department of Forest and Wildlife and Bombay Natural History Society at Asola Bhatti Wildlife Sanctuary in 2005. The main purpose to create CEC to aware about the children's and the adult for the field-based educational programs. More than 90 species of butterflies are found within this area of Delhi and CR. Butterflies are the ambassadors of insect world. They are found in various colors, sizes and designs. They have six legs and three body parts including head, thorax and abdomen. The taste sensors of a butterfly are located on its feet. They feed on wide range of food from nectar to plant and animal juices. Most of the butterflies fly in the day while few fly in the evening. Butterflies are deep and powerful representations of life. Many cultures associate the butterfly with our souls. Here visitors are made aware of flora and fauna, along with information on how to conserve them. Butterflies are not only a beautiful creature, but they do a great deal for the environment. After the bees, butterflies are the second largest pollinator of the world. As per the facts, a butterfly's eyes are capable of seeing UV light and they use their antennae to smell. They have no sense of hearing but are capable of sensing vibrations as a warning. Their survival research says, apart from nectar of flowers, they survive upon rotten fruits and deceased animals. Sometimes they can be seen sucking minerals and some species also provide a natural form of pest control. They play an important role in our ecosystem. They are uh, an integral part of the food web. Most predators like birds, spiders, uh, lizards depend on moths and butterflies as a food source. They are also, after bees and flies, the, a very important uh, pollinator of our food crops. So a uh, decline in uh, butterfly populations as we see is surely going to affect our uh, food source in the future. And uh, the present situation is such that we have seen a sharp decline in the populations of butter butterflies and moths and uh, uh, the situation is dire and there is a need to sound an alarm. They are sensitive to change and their fortunes help us assess the health of our environment. Two-thirds of butterflies and moth species in the world are in decline. This is an alert that cannot be ignored. What if butterflies disappear? Butterflies are known as flying jewels which displays attraction wherever it flies. Butterflies are also proving crucially vital to the ecosystem. The plants involved become more resistant to diseases. This gives them a better chance of survival. Reacting quickly and with careful evaluation, butterflies are known to react even to the slightest changes within the areas that they occupy. Hence, butterflies have been an inspiration in all the fields. Studying the arrangement of scales on butterflies' wings has inspired researchers to invent solar panels. Moreover, Artists have been using butterflies as subjects and inspirations in their work. Also in education value, the butterfly's life cycle has been often used as a teaching tool in science for young children. In addition to their ecological niche, butterflies are also a food source to predators like spiders, birds and lizards. These could be the major reasons for all of us to fear that if the butterflies disappear, it could cause the collapse of the ecosystems and all natural networks that we necessitate. Butterfly conservation is important and everybody can do it. We need to ensure availability of suitable habitats by planting suitable larval host plants and native flowering plants. 
as well as stopping use of poisons like insecticides and pesticides will affect the population of butterflies and moths in our country. increases in temperature, barely visible to humans but these changes are of such significance to butterflies that they have triggered new patterns in the ancient process of metamorphosis and have even driven the creatures out of their native habitats. Due to their sensitivity, birds and butterflies are more permeable to the effects of deforestation, causing their population to decrease in each analyzed location. Are very important for the butterflies and larva host plants and nectar plants are essential for the butterflies. They also use the trees for their habitat to protect themselves from the freezing temperature and the wind and they hide themselves in the under the wind under the leaves of the trees. Trees play an important role for the butterfly to complete their life cycle so we need to decrease deforestation to help butterflies. Insecticides like aldrin, and asulfan, acetamiprid, clodinidine, dinotefuron and many other neonicotinoid, affect butterflies and increase in the native tree cover and reduction in the usage of insecticides can help butterflies. Also, people should be encouraged to maintain natural gardens which sustain life forms. Plantation plays an important role for the survival of butterflies. We can do planting of castor plant, curry leaves plant, lemon plant, yellow vajradanti plant, sunflower plant, lantana plant, and same species flowers around us. These plants are easily available and help butterflies sustain longer. The objective of a butterfly garden is to provide food and shelter for butterflies throughout their life cycle. We can create a center of attention for butterflies in our garden or larger lands by planting flowering trees. It helps us save the ecosystem while maintaining the colorful beauty around us. Butterflies are initially attracted to the nectar flowers which they use for their energy supply. As observed, in your created garden, if caterpillar food plants are available, only then butterflies take up residence and perform breed. Butterflies are cold-blooded and need to acquire warmth before flight is possible. Placing rocks or paving stones in both sunny and shady areas can help them in this. Droughts are another problem for butterflies, especially if drought harms the plants upon which caterpillars rely for food. Habitat availability will be vital to the survival of butterflies when drought strikes, and by providing such refuges in our personal gardens, can help them survive their life and flourish. It is observed that butterflies love mud puddles and they need the same to drink water. Also, a shallow wet area in the garden can be an asset for butterflies, allowing them to refuel. We can also create a few shallow divots in bare soil and keep them moist. With this help butterflies can drink water and get much needed minerals from the soil. <laughs>